Welcome back, Bucks fans, to another All-22 Film Room presented by Pewter Report. I am Josh Capo, and for this week's edition, I thought it'd be really fun for us to take a look at one of the standout stars from week one in Dallas, and that was wide receiver Julio Jones. So Jones had a really great game despite just playing only 22 snaps, but he made those 22 snaps count. And we're going to take a look at six different plays that he was in on and see what does he bring to this Bucks offense, how is offensive coordinator Byron Leftwich using him, what kind of creativity can we expect going forward, and what kind of impact did he have in Dallas and can he have going forward. So let's get into it. Uh, first play here, you can see the Bucks are set up um, empty backfield. Jones is set up in the slot here. And he's going to run just basically a 10-yard curl. Nothing fancy, but you are going to see his ability to separate is still there, even though some think that maybe Julio's play has dropped off. So let's take a look. So you can see he gets up about 10 yards out, breaks down real quick, gets the ball, and then fights for some extra yardage. We're going to back it up. We're going to take a little bit of a closer look and see how was he able to make that catch. And it really starts at what he does at the top of his stem, the way he's able to quickly break down right there. All right, you can see he's creating separation. Right here, it's at about three yards. By the end, four yards and a defender falling down. That's not good. That's not good at all if you're the Dallas defender. Julio, it's really good for him. Secures the catch and then starts to move upfield, fights through a couple tackles to add on a few extra yards. It's a 13-yard gain. That's what we call a first down. So really good rep there on play number one. Now let's take a look at play number two. This play is actually not going to go to Julio, who is set up on the strong side slot. This play is actually going to go to Mike Evans up top, but I included it because there are some subtleties to what Julio does in his route here that I think are really, really cool that I wanted to share with you. So let's take a look at the play. So you can see both of them are running seam routes. They both give a little, and you can look at it, both Evans and, and Julio, they're running mirror routes, right? Mirrors of each other. And you can see both of them give a little wiggle to the outside. Evans did it right there before pulling in. Julio's doing it right there, pulls in. Unfortunately, safety isn't shaken. He's able to play the ball really well. Tough pass for Evans, and it becomes incomplete. I would argue there was a chance that this could have gone to Julio and been a, a touchdown. It could have gone for six. And really, that's because watch here at the top of his route. Again, top of the stem, he starts to push outside, gets the defender to turn his hips to the outside. He's facing the, the end zone, which leaves him susceptible for this next part where Julio breaks inside. Now he's got all the inside leverage. If Brady can hit him on that, that tiny little inside move, that could go for six. So really cool things there. And, and it shows the subtlety. He's a technician as a route runner, uh, and he brings a lot to this offense, and he can be a big weapon. You'll see later he really was a big weapon for the Bucks. Now on this third one, uh, you, you might remember, it was a pretty uh, memorable play. The Bucks almost connected. Brady almost connects with Julio on this. It's a deep, some might call it a crosser. It's really just a deep post out of the slot here. So Julio is going to drive upfield. He's going to force the safety to finally break towards a certain side. He's going to break this way, thinking that Julio is just carrying the seam. And that's when he's going to shoot off for the corner route. So let's take a look. And there it is right there. So now he's created that inside leverage, allows Brady to throw a pass with a lot of confidence that only Julio is going to get to it or no one's going to get to it. So we'll watch it again. And I'll try and stop it right at the top. There. You see, he forced the safety to push and, and commit to covering him carrying the seam. Once he does that, that's where you see him break inside. That's where you see him create that inside leverage. Brady can throw with confidence. Unfortunately, it's just not quite complete, okay? They're still working out the kinks, all right? They've still got to, to kind of develop that timing and that placement, but you can see Julio's creating opportunities for big plays. Brady's going to trust him. That's going to get better, and you're going to see those completed, connected, and creating big yards for the Bucks offense going forward. Now, we'll get to uh, play four here. This... Now we're talking a little bit of creativity, right? So Byron Leftwich, offensive coordinator for the Bucks, 
he's going to start using Julio in a bunch of different ways. So we saw him get vertical. We saw him do some deep stuff. We saw that curl route earlier. And now what else can we do with him? Oh, we can give it to him on a jet sweep. End around. All right. Make some plays. Get some yards. Now we're getting creative with our weapons. It looks good. And then from here, well, let's. why don't we just give it to him behind the line of scrimmage and see what he can do? Well, he can get upfield. He can almost get a first down. He can get us some yards. Let's do it. So all of this kind of adds up to just another playmaker. All right? A lot of people were worried, does Julio still have it? Right? A couple of injury-plagued years. He's up over 30 years old. Can he still do Julio-like things? And you can see, as a veteran technician route runner, he brings subtlety to the way he runs his routes and creates leverage so that he can make tough catches. He can still create separation. He can still break off routes really well. He can do a lot of things, including run really, really fast for a really long distance and then show just amazing ball skills, ball tracking, to grab that in tight coverage. Let's take a look at it again. Oh, well, a little too far, but here we go. Julio's just going to run a nine route. He's just, I'm going to go deep. Hit me. And he creates maybe a half a step of separation there, if that. And this is really good coverage by Anthony Brown. He just doesn't get his head around early enough. Or, uh, and Julio's able to track the ball and create a 40-yard, 8-yard catch. And that led to a field goal. And the Bucks win. And this is why you put weapons around Tom Brady because they can do great things. And Julio Jones is one of those weapons. So um, for Pewter Report, I'm Josh Capo. This has been an All-22 film.